It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. Just one of the many hits that over the decades has made Bruce Springsteen a superstar. Now at age 73, he's looking back to a moment in his career he considers a turning point, and he's talking with our Jim Axelrod. This is where the magic happened. <laughs> this is the room where it happened, that's right. It may not look like much, but this small bedroom in Colts Neck, New Jersey. This is the orange shag rug that was here 40 years ago. <laughs> this is the same bed. Good Lord. <laughs> is where Bruce Springsteen made what he considers. That's all we're standing. His masterpiece. On the front lawn. Nebraska. Just a twirling. 10 songs. Her Dark and mournful. From the town of Lincoln, Nebraska. If I had to pick one album out and say, this is going to represent you 50 years from now, I'd pick Nebraska. Through to the bad land of Wyoming, I killed every Thing in my pain. Written 41 years ago at a time of great upheaval in Springsteen's inner life. I just hit some sort of personal wall that I didn't even know was there. It was my first real major depression where I realized, oh, I've got to do something about it. And you can't succeed your way out of pain. No, you cannot. That's a very good way of putting it. You cannot succeed your way out of that pain. Well, I can Coming off a hugely successful tour for the River album, he'd had his first top 10 hit. Everybody's got a hungry heart. He was 32, a genuine rock star, surrounded by success and learning its limits. Everybody wants to have a home. Your rock and roll meds, singing in front of 40,000 people, all that is is anesthesia. Yeah, and it worked for me. I think in your 20s, a lot of things work for you. Your 30s is where you be start to become an adult. Suddenly, I looked around and said, where is everything? Mm. Where is my home? Where is my partner? Where are the sons or daughters that I thought I might have someday? And I realized none of these things are there. So I said, okay, the first thing I've got to do as soon as I get home is remind myself of who I am and where I came from. I lived in this house exactly half a lifetime ago. Home at the time was a fixed up farmhouse he was renting. I enjoyed it here because I liked access to this reservoir. I think they keep the canoes. My canoe remains, it's still there. <laughs> here, he would try to understand why his success left him so alienated. This is all inside of me. You can either take it and transform it into something positive or it can destroy you. There are records, films, books that don't just come in the front door. <laughs> they come in the back door, they come up through a trap door and stay with you in life. Author Warren Zane's new book, Deliver Me From Nowhere, offers a deep and moving examination of the making of Nebraska. Here's Bruce Springsteen making a record from a kind of bottom in his own life. Springsteen's pain was rooted in a lonely childhood. They were very poor. And then he becomes Bruce Springsteen. He felt that his past was making his present complicated, and he wanted to be freed of it. Oh, here it is. This is the song. Oh, wow. For Springsteen, liberation with, had yeah. always come through writing. While he filled notebook after notebook. It's funny because I don't remember doing all this work. The album didn't come together until late one night when he was channel surfing and stumbled across Badlands. I believe I shoot people every now and then. Not that I deserve a medal. Terrence Malick's film about Charles Starkweather, whose murder spree in 1957 and 58 unfolded mainly in Nebraska. I actually called the reporter who had reported on that story in Nebraska. And amazingly enough, she was still at the newspaper and she was a lovely woman and we talked for a half hour or so and it just sort of focused me on the feeling of what I wanted to write about. They want to know why. In a serial killer, 
did what I did. Springsteen had found a muse. Sir, I guess you're just a meanness in this world. There's a meanness <laughs> in this world. That explains everything Starkweather's done. Yeah. I tried to locate where their humanity was as best as I could. In a surge of creativity, he wrote 15 songs in a matter of weeks. This is pretty much the setup, I think. I had a little chair here. Mike was over there with this tape player. And one January night in 1982, it was time to record. The acoustics of this room, not bad. The orange shag carpet makes it really dead. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of echo, so... Not just beautiful not to look only, at. <laughs> not only was it beautiful, it came in handy. <laughs> One of rock's biggest stars we sat in this bedroom, alone, and sang. At least for a little while, so Getting exactly the sound he was looking for. Had a song for. Some songs explore the confusion left from childhood. Mansion on the hill, my father's house, used cars. They're all written from kids' perspectives. Children trying to make sense of the world that they were born into. She said, I'm sorry, son, but no one by that name lives here anymore. Others profiled adults left out or left behind. There's that very stark, dark, Lonely sound. It's austere. Very austere, very bare bones. On a broken down boom box, Springsteen mixed the songs onto a cassette tape he carried around in his pocket. You got one cassette. That's right. And you're walking around with it in your pocket for a few yeah, weeks? Yeah, my back pocket. I hope you had a plastic case on it. I don't least. think I had a case. I'm lucky I didn't lose it. Well, they blew up a chicken man and Philly The life. band would record what he had on the cassette. But bigger and bolder wasn't what he was looking for. It was a happy accident. I had planned to just write some good songs, teach them to the band, go in the studio and record them. But every time I tried to improve on the tape that I had made in that little room, it's the old story of this gets any better, it's gonna be worse. Bruce Springsteen wasn't working E Street, but another road entirely. Nebraska was muddy. It was imperfect. It wasn't finished. All the things that you shouldn't put out, he put out. Did any part of you worry, oh my goodness, what am I putting out there? I knew what the Nebraska record was. It was also a signal that I was sending, that I've had some success, but I do what I want to do. I make the records I want to make. I'm trying to tell a bigger story, and that's the job that I'm trying to do for you. A few more songs that didn't make the cut? Well, you probably heard them later. Born in the USA, Pink Cadillac. All stuff that didn't make it. <laughs> songs the guy in the leather jacket who'd written of chrome-wheeled, fuel-injected suicide machines kept in this binder with Snoopy on the cover. Boy, I'm glad we can see it. People wouldn't believe it otherwise. In that small bedroom, Springsteen the Rocker made an album that fleshed out Springsteen the Poet. Imagine if he hadn't. And then people might be assessing a career and say, oh, it's great, man, 70,000 people singing Rosalita in the stadium. But that might have been closer to where it ended in considering what you've done. Yeah, I mean, I was just interested in more, in more than that. I love doing it. I still love doing it to this day. But I wanted more than that. You make sure my... Pretty baby sitting right there on my land. If they want to enjoy your work, try anything. If they want to understand your work, try yeah. Nebraska. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. I definitely agree with that.